Hey guys, so for this episode, or yeah, I'm going to be reacting to um, the next movie in the MCU. It's going to be Captain America, The Winter Soldier. I will admit, I have better memories of this um, movie than most of the other ones. I think this is one that was more serious and it actually felt like they took it seriously and you know, not as a joke and actually put a lot of time and effort into it so that it actually looks like a good movie. So we'll see if that, my opinion on it still holds up after all these years. So uh, yeah, let's get started. You know, this gets, you know, because they mean this shit so much, it, this scene's annoying. We just ran like 13 miles in 30 minutes. Guess I got a late start. <laughs> really? You should be ashamed of yourself. You should take another lap. Did you just take it? I assume you just took it. What unit are you with? Either one of you know where the Smithsonian is? I'm here to pick up a fossil. Is he wearing a parachute? No. Well, looky there. It's a guy who plays, um, what's his face? I can't remember his actual name, the character name from uh, BBS. The mercenary tries to roast Martha alive. <laughs> I don't know, I think I kind of like this one better simply for the fact he actually uses more fighting skills as opposed to just... I guess it's just not as bland as his first movie. Why does he still wear the cap? I mean, doesn't, you know, they fucking know who, exactly who the fuck he is. Soldiers trust each other. That's what makes it an army. Not a bunch of guys running around shooting guns. Last time I trusted someone, I lost an eye. I don't know. The fact that line would have actually meant something if not for what happens in next, you know, a future movie that makes it completely laughable and ridiculous best friends since childhood. Bucky Barnes and Steven Rogers were inseparable on both schoolyard and battlefield. So what? Certainly they're having all this like stuff about him. Did they know about him in the like Captain at the end of First Avenger? Did they know about Captain America before then or did they just suddenly like Suddenly, now that, oh, uh, you know, everybody, uh, he he's returned, they suddenly have all this, like, archived video and, and sh information about him to get the public to know about him or some shit like that. You're alive. So, she's supposed to have, like, dementia or something like that. You get some moment between him and police officer in which police officer are gonna try to take him out. <laughs> yep, told ya. That police officer is probably gonna take him out. It's deploying countermeasures. Hold that order. Window integrity, one percent. See, so waiting for them all to get closer. Of course, this is when Winter Soldier shows up. Nice. Hey, I gotta go though. Hey, if you want, if you want, you're welcome to use my machine. Might be cheaper than the one in the basement. And this is where we get the creepy uh, Sharon Carter fucking Captain America romance. Just. Can't remember. Does he shoot through a window or do they just shoot through the wall? Are going to do this thing again where oh well they think they're dead but they're just faking the death, like they did with what's his face in uh, the Avengers. I don't know. Death. They want you back at you. Yeah, give me a sec. They want you now. 
Once he's, he's far enough to believe that, realize that he's not, he came to his apartment because he's the only one he trusts. Everyone else he doesn't trust. Why was he there? He told me not to trust anyone. No doubt he knew that he would be smart enough not to trust anyone. And that he'd have the skills to fight anybody who tried to use force. Very subtle. Especially if you're supposed to be like the best of the best. He's gonna come up right up underneath him, of course. Is he gonna have the actual, like, Iron Man suit? Because I know that I can't go into you movie without having that whiny bitch brought up. So, yeah, and I, I think he's supposed to be the, you know, the black guy is supposed to be the replacement for the guy who originally was in the first one, but then got replaced. So hard to remember in this shitty fucking universe. Yeah, I'm not ready for that. I guess that's a positive. It was an Iron Man suit. Well, at least he's far enough to know that not to go, uh, come out from under the bridge because he's there. Exactly, that's not, I knew that was gonna happen. Well, at least she was smart enough to go for the kill shot. So, did Steve Trevor know how to fight this entire time? Fight at this level, I mean. Because we don't see this really in the first movie, or did he never need it in the first movie? Or did he learn it, you know, once he came to the future? Is I'm going to see that it's finally Bucky. Bucky. You going to actually fucking run or you just let these fuckers capture you? Get on your knees! Get down! Don't move. Did Black Widow think enough to run or uh... Put the gun down. Not here. Not here. Like you give a fuck. No, I guess not. We don't put pressure on that wound. She's gonna bleed out here in the truck. Ah, that thing was squeezing my brain. Who's this guy? I still like her better than any of the other fucking characters, really. Three holes, start digging. So he literally acknowledges that they're gonna try to kill them all. Let me take her. She want to see him first. <sighs> Here's my shocked face that think he's still alive. Even if you hadn't watched future movies, there's no way in hell you wouldn't expect this to happen since it literally happened in two movies before with Avengers when they do that shit. Because they actually acknowledge that what is it? What's his face is alive in the movie. We're going to get the, oh, he said Bucky's name, so he remembers now. I wouldn't have a problem with it normally, but considering how many people fucking bitch incessantly about what happened in BBS when it came to uh, Superman saying Martha's name, I'm going to give this just as much fucking shit. And how was your flight? Lovely. The ride from the airport, less so. Oh wow, we finally get these fuckers on screen and send holograms. So I'm guessing he's gonna try to kill them all, isn't he? 
Shield is not what we thought it was. It's been taken over by Hydra. I love the idea that what them going against Captain America was fine until Captain America said that they're, they're part of Hydra. Then suddenly they're not so fine with it. Wait for it. I'm sorry. I am kind of disappointed because I would love to have seen her just, uh, just this random, this whatever it was, stakeholder person. I don't know who the fuck she is, but having this old woman just taking out these fuckers as opposed to it be just being Black Widow. And of course it's gonna be Fury. So what? His damage I was also uh, put into this system so that it doesn't matter that he, uh, you know, his other eye was taken out because his damage eyes is still in there. How convenient, I guess. Unless you want a two inch hole in your sternum, I put that gun down. That was yeah, of course. Of course, perfectly time shot. We will again when it's useful. She's gonna try to overcome like the uh, whole uh, trying to overcome the bomb by uh, short circuiting and shit like that, right? Well, he could explain how this country is expected to maintain its national security now that. He and you have laid waste to our intelligence apparatus. Hydra was selling you lies. Not yeah, aren't you the one who apparently al allowed Hydra to infiltrate your, I guess, biggest intellect, you know, intelligent agency? You're not going to put me in a prison. You're not going to put any of us in a prison. You know why? Because you need us. Yes, the world is a vulnerable place. And yes, we help make it that way. But we're also the ones best qualified to defend it. See if they keep the same energy for a civil war. So, you've experienced this sort of thing before. You get used to it. So, uh, did they actually, did the public know he's dead or they just believe he's dead? So he's gonna go out of his way to keep his identity secret. Okay, so that was the end of Captain America Civil War. <sighs> well, one, it doesn't mention Iron Man, so that's already a plus in my fucking book. <sighs> but, uh, you know, I mean, um, I one thing I would like, like about this movie already is that it had a shit ton better fight choreography than any other MCU movie I've seen so far. I don't know what the fuck, why that is, because I know a lot of the, you know, what a lot of the, the people involved in this movie or involved in other MCU movies are, are crap. So I don't know what it is. I, you know, thing with these kind of movies, I just think that they're kind of like, they are just, a lot of the people involved are just doormats to Disney's greedy ass. So they'll do whatever Disney wants them to. Doesn't matter if it's good or not. So I'm not sure if this is what it was. This movie in particular, Disney just happened to like, didn't pay too much attention to. And so they were actually able to make a good movie. And then the rest of them were literally dog shit because Disney had so much control over it. I don't know, but this is one of the better ones, I'll admit. I mean, once again, third act was kind of eh for me. I don't know. I, I guess third act, especially when it comes to comic book movies, they have to be very well done for me. Even like Wonder Woman, which I enjoyed, but third act was the least interesting for me. So, I don't know what it is. Um, maybe it's just that it takes a, a long time for... 
uh, or it takes so much for a good writer to actually write a good act. Um, I think the only exception I feel like would be like something like Batman v Superman or even um, Band of Steel. I mean, Batman v Superman it was literally written by an Oscar winner act, uh, Oscar winning act writer, and so. I don't know if that's what it is, but it's just, it, it, especially in comic book movies in particular, it just, it takes so much for me to enjoy third acts because they tend to resort to a lot of action and that's pretty much it. The one thing I will say, we get Winter Soldier saving uh, Captain America, which... I mean, we, throughout the movie, we see him, we see um, Captain America, or uh, Winter Soldier, kind of, he's starting to question, um, or not necessarily question, his, I guess, um, brainwashing is starting to slip, and so he's starting to, I think, get back memories of Captain America, and so he's um, starting, slowly starting to affect him, so, um, you know, I think that's the only really part that I enjoyed about this, the ending. Maybe other than, you know, the whole Captain Widow bit where she's talking about how you're not going to do shit to us because you need us. We'll see if that holds up for the future movies. Um, so, anyways, um, so that was my reaction to, um, Captain America, um, uh, Winter Soldier. So, um, if you did like the video, give a like. Subscribe to, no subscribe to get notifications for all the videos I'll be doing. You guys have a nice night. Stay safe out there and talk to you later.